you guys so i'm going to be taking you through a regular regular day of me trying to get back into shape me trying to get back fine um as you can see i'm still a little pleasantly plump and this is the first day i'm actually going to be weightlifting uh in about i want to say two or three weeks so i like to warm my body up with cardio or jump roping or whatever to, 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 to. see i can't even speak but today I decided to get on the treadmill. When I'm on the treadmill, I normally sprint for about a minute and a half at like nine miles per hour. And then I transition into the incline at about 15 and I walk at like three miles per hour. I tried to record that today, you guys, but I guess God wasn't having it. And I end up hitting the emergency stop by accident. Look. Normally I do the incline, but I hit the emergency stop by accident. My bad. All right, you guys, so we're going to stretch. Stretching is really important for the mobility when you're actually lifting weights, and it just primes your body for the workout. All right, so this first exercise, we're gonna target the glutes. All right, you see, I went and put my blood flow resistance bands on. It just gives you a little bit of a pump. And also, you can see that I lowered the weight from 75. You only want to use these B uh, blood flow resistance bands when you're doing low weight. Also, you want to remember to hold at the top when you're doing these workouts. Now, and this is crazy. I used to rep 135 easily, but because I took such a long break, I was struggling a little bit. You also can see in this video that when I actually hit the bar, I would have to lower the spotter racks. <laughs> yeah, it's time to move those down a little bit, ma'am. Yeah, so my goal this time was actually to do 10 reps of 135. I have not lifted a weight in about two or three weeks. So I think I only hit like six. You just have to work your way back into your routine because if not, you're just gonna beat yourself up over nothing. As you can see, my friend in the background, he's actually going to spot me. Now, when you're lifting heavy, this actually isn't heavy for me, though. But when you're lifting weights, if the spotter racks aren't there, you need someone to actually motivate you to push the weight back up on the bar. As you can see, my friend here is trying to make sure I don't bust my behind. But you want to have someone, if you can motivate you to push the weight back on the rack and even right here i was struggling like i used to do t uh i think this is 225 i used to rep that easy but i think right here i tried to do it overhand it was not working um so i switched it and i think i did about two or three reps of 225 also <laughs> my form is not good here you want to have your chest up and you want to push through the ground. But it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Give yourself time to improve.
so here i had already done a couple of reps but we're doing a bent row i'm actually working on my form when it comes to bent rows so i lowered the weight to about i think 10 pounds on each side and i did a couple of reps um this actually targets my traps and my back it had my back looking kind of good though i'm not gonna lie So right here, this is a good machine to target those glutes. Now, if you can look at me while I'm doing this, I'm actually pushing and holding it at the top. See, look, hold it at the top. You don't want to just push through some workouts because you'll end up, uh, it'll end up being counterproductive, honestly. So push and hold, push and hold. And this is nothing but a simple app crunch machine now i do want to warn you guys if you're trying to shred fat i would i would suggest you shred a little bit more fat before you get on this machine because you're going to end up creating muscle under the fat And we're going to finish off with some cardio. My cardio of choice was to push the sled. I think I only had like 225, not 225. I think I only had like 90 pounds on this sled. But yeah, tip to my females and my ladies and anybody that have boobs, wear two bras or wear a decent appropriate shirt when you're working out. Like when you're pushing stuff and pushing and pulling, people will be looking. So make sure you have something that support those tatas. <laughs> that's pretty much it you guys um hopefully we get better over time this has been a super hard day for me and i'll see you guys in my next video okay bye